handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Friday. It is the 16th of June, 2023. Going to look at the fifth race from Belmont, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Um, join me tomorrow for my North America Cup from Mohawks, one of my favorite races of the season. So I hope you uh, check out that uh, preview on the harness side. And, uh, you know, there's it's not a good quality other than the North America Cup. But it's not a good, you know, quality group of horse races this weekend, but it's um, good betting races. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, across the uh, the UK also, it's not the, the best uh, weekend of racing with the quality, but uh, you, you can make some money with those races. So just stick around. We're going to look at a lot of races this weekend. Uh, but uh, coming here stateside, back to Belmont, a little very local for me, um, you know, we're going to get some rain Friday afternoon into Saturday early afternoon, possibly even extending into the late afternoon. Um, so Saturday's card, you might see off the turf races. Hopefully the rain, you know, might... Um, you know, start off slow um, and we could get this fifth race on the turf course because it's a good group of horses. It could be a gray too, I think. And you'll probably see some of these horses end up in um, stakes races at Saratoga in about a uh, month's time. Uh, that's how good these horses are. So um, hopefully this race stays on the turf, but just keep in mind what weather is on the horizon, which we absolutely need here in New York. But uh, let's look at the fifth from Belmont, which is allowance optional claimer purse, $105,000 race for Phillies, mayors, four-year-olds, and upwards here. Um, non words of a uh, uh, race and main claiming starter, which never won four races here. Obstacle claim price of 80000 None of them were in for the price, so it's a straight allowance race. Seven horses are entered, but only six will go to the inner turf course. The distance of ground of 1,800 meters, or a mile and one-eighth on the Belmont inner turf course, 1,800 meters, a mile one-eighth here. And I show the diagram. just gives me a second to look down, but notes just bear with me. Something I've noticed um, this meeting at Belmont, they've been carting a lot of these mile and eighth races, and they're always exciting races to look at, I think. Um, you know, because you need to have a good position. You need to have a smart rider riding these races. I'm going to go with the one horse, Atomic Blonde, here. I'm going to go 1 5 2 6 into Superfecto. 1 5 2 6 Super. Top selection, one horse, Atomic Blonde. Four year filled by the Great Gatsby. Christophe Clement trains. Joel Rosario gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came the 5th of May at Belmont. About a mile three eighths in her turf course in the Sheepshead Bay. And the horse just didn't finish that day. He finished third by three and a quarter lengths. Higher Truth really ran a terrific race on the front and quickened up a lot. Virginia Joy, who won the race a, a season ago, really ran a decent race. This horse on a little bit of a softer turf course just never really got going, was just a little bit flat. She, you know, she just needed to be more forwardly paced, I think. Coming here from the rail could be forwardly paced, walk the dog on the front end, which is always killer on this turf horse routing. I think the horse could do uh, wonders and run a good race here today. First start stateside came the first vapor Goldstream, mile and a half, and the Orchid Stakes, and the horse finished third by one three quarter lengths, an amazing race that day. The horse sat back early. She had the lead. She got caught late, but she didn't go down without a fight. She so but she showed potential that day. And then the uh, Premio Lydia Tessio at Campanella in Italy, a mile and a quarter, 30th of October. The horse finished seven by six and a quarter lengths. Very soft ground. The horse just never really got going there. And then a San Siro in a local group three. The horse went by one three quarter lengths. And from a tracking trip, he really took off clear. Actually ran um, against Amazing Grace um, in Europe also quite a few times. Ran in a race at uh, Bottom Bottom in Germany, a group two locally a mile and a half there in September she lost to Amazing Grace who won this horse finished third by one and a quarter lengths and again just couldn't keep the mile and a half I think a mile and a quarter would probably be her better trip but back to a mile and eight today she could really walk the dog and I think she could really run a good race I'll use her here I think the five horse skims for Shug McGahee and John Velasquez your second likeliest winner ran most recently in the Jenny Wiley at Keelan where the horse beat two horses home she didn't break well she was a little bit wide and she needed the race there prior to that in the um, American Oaks she didn't break so well the gate where she got bumped out of it, um, but she won the Sands Point at Aqueduct last October quite nice in the front and went by length there and had a very good place in the Dueling Grounds Oaks. Um, coming here today, it wouldn't surprise me if she wins at 3-1. to one. I'll use her to end off this um, pick 4 or pick 5, whatever you decide to play. Pick 6 begins with this race also. A 10 race car today at Belmont. It's uh, it's a very good one, so hopefully, hopefully you play it. But to recap my selection for the 5th from Belmont, I'm going to take the 1 horse Atomic Blonde, give kudos to the 5 horse Skims, one five two six Super, one five in your multi-race so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid 5 good luck everybody